Gen route, but typically I just do uh, first strength or tanky. If they're squished, I go dark harvest. I got you. Okay, so let me explain it. Essentially, the series I want to do on YouTube is something that's going to be called like um, Tarzan teaches me how to play and then like the champion name, right? So that's why for this, you have to kind of like just give like overarching kind of things like what does Kha'Zix do? Like what's he good at? How do you play him like in general? And then like matchup specific things too. That would make it so that just based off this coaching, I could like learn Kha'Zix. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Kha'Zix, in my opinion, of the way I play him, is the best neutral securing champ of the game. He's a very healthy clear. His only issue is early game. He's very uh, prone to invades. Yep. And with the new patch hitting, champs like Rengar, Rek'Sai getting nerfed is pretty good for him, because with those champs being big less, he becomes stronger. They're also buffing Brawler's Claw, which I think is a good item for him. If you're a Snowball, it's like basically collector on, like, you know, champs like Graves second or whatever. Yep. So, as long as you're just... Playing consistently early game and not dying on Kha'Zix and just if you can see an angle grab a free like early game kill, then the champs are one of the best Loki champs in the game in my opinion. And display getting nerfed, like I told you before, right? He's still getting like picked in Korea very often and Griffin was like picking him up, so I think he has a lot of potential. I think he'll be like probably your second best champ, and he's like pretty similar to Hecarim and like how you wanna like just absorb resources. Okay. So what do you do for Spring? He's very good as well. Uh red for sure, this game. Red or green. Okay. And do you take I don't a pot? blue? Huh? Do you take a potion? You won't get invaded by Sejuani, so I'd say no this game. Alright. If you think you, there'll be if, if there's like a Lee Center or Graves or something that has to like cheese you, then you can go pot, but Okay. So your alternative routes this game would be pathing top to bot or just red side full clearing and long store resetting. But in a game like this, I think Sedge is gonna path top. So it's up to you one like whoever wins top pot wins the game, right? So Yeah. Well, the thing that I'm wondering about is, like, is so since both supports are, like, hard engage, could I just do, like, three camp red side into a bot gank, then? If there's an angle, yes. But make sure you have your top laner or top side, so isn't that level 3 stage 1 again, because, well, like, same concept, right? Because yep. if you cover the, the play top lane, then she kind of, like, she'll, you'll know if she enters your jungle, so once you go to play for the play bottom, you enter her jungle instead, right? Because then the map will be split. So should he ward my should he ward my blue or should he ward my, the try? He should just ward the Sejuani three camp gank. Like if she starts Raptor solo and does red. Typically Sejuani start red solo, but the thing is Sej will be top side earlier because she's on red side, right? It's like when you when you when you play like jungle on purple side and their blue side, and their jungler starts red side, he can be bought first because he's closer, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas you don't ever start blue side on jungle on junglers most of the time unless you want like three camp. Like there's like a rat on the leaves I do like it's a uh, wolves blue gromp counter bot or whatever. But that's like very situational, so. Yeah. Yeah, I just do Krugs here. Don't smite this camp. Don't only smite your your wolves, and then you go two point skew. I just go full clear this game to be honest. Unless it's an angle game top lane. Sucks the fucking camps are bugged right now. They go one HP. Most of the mid game you use your W to pull camps. By the way. Oh yeah. Autumn is big swollen too much. Auto the top big one a bit more. Yeah. So you get your dot off. Yeah. Just early game you do it because of the. Uh, the heal, I guess, is fairly valuable. Mm -hmm. Lost this with your W. Yeah, so, is it worth, like... Talk. Is it worth, uh... Like, you always want to get the healing from your W early game, though, right? I mean, not really, unless... Not really. You should always always the raptors there, by the way. Huh? So they walk towards you. Because uh, the big raptors are furthest away. So you want the camps the camp to walk up to you entirely. Oh, you're hitting the small ones a bit too much as well here. You have double adaptive, so you like, do a lot more damage than you think, right? And then just skew this. Okay. Yeah, so, so do you want to gank bottom? Press yeah. tab? She leveled, she three camps yeah. into... Two so points she... Q, two points Q full clear. Camera top though. No, do wolves first. Now you can smite this camp. So, some people would gank top lane here. I just rather full clear and secure my full clear and call. Like, once you're level yeah, six, because be... I feel like if I gank top, I also like run the risk of dying, right? Because he has ignite. Yes, they're very weak early game. Also, you're losing too much of your damage on the big one. I don't know why. Like, you need to hit the small ones a bit more. Okay. Like, you should know this by now. If you hit Challenger playing jungle, you should know how to clear your on, an, on a single target champ. Yeah. Also, I mean, you could have done Gromp first, but I don't think it really matters, really. Just smite the Gromp so it walks towards you as well. Yeah, no, you should have auto the Gromp and then queued the, the blue buff third last hit it, because it's like 220 damage, right? You need to keep track of your damage on this champion. Yeah. Because every auto counts. Oh. You can finish that. Just queue it. And then queue one more time and you're good. If you hit the queue, hit the queue. Bro, it's a fucking what? No, because if he W's me and ignites me, I just get one tapped. 
you get level four, and then you level up your E, and then you're chilling, and he's dead. Oh. Wait, I mean, that's chill though, no? I mean, your top winner fucking bailed you out, but, uh... I don't, I don't know, because I thought that if Renekton gets an auto range, he has, you like, a hundred and then reset, and then once you reset, we'll talk about it. Okay. There's nothing here. Okay. You knew your Q does turn so most of that play, honestly, entirely, is you not clearing your blue buff properly because you'll be wasting like autos and Qs when yeah, you just like I agree. you could have autoed the Gromp and then you'd be able to Q last hit the blue when it's coming to you if you keep track of your damage. Yeah. All right, here on alternative thing I learned, uh, you can just smite the uh, baby Krug rather than the big Krug because then it's isolated faster, right? Oh, yeah. Typically, first play I don't really like it unless you clear top to bot and then Krug's your last camp. So sm smite the baby one first, baby. Yeah, and then just use your E. There you go. And now is when, like, once you do your Raptors, you're going to be very close to level 5, because you're going to get a kill early game, and determine what's the uh, what's the next objective. Press tab, look at items, bro. Yeah, they have, like, nothing. Yeah, I mean, if there's nothing, then you just farm, really. There's nothing else really you can do. If your bot has probably you can make Force Dragon. If not, you just farm. Now you're hitting the two baby ones too much. Now you're fine. Your W kills all of these, so like, yeah. just hit the big one. Yeah, or just early game. You should know your your damage by now. There's nothing to do, just farm. Like you're doing. This is like the ideal early game is called. In challenger games, this is how I do every game. I just clear, reset, skip, grab, and then do my Krugs on spawn. And now the game is different because now you can actually invade her Raptors if uh, the wave timer is set up. Look at top lane. Your top laner is winning. Yep. So you can set up either a Krug invade or a Raptor invade. Your mid just died. The wave is in a weird spot. So I'd probably set up Krugs here. So, what did you do, Gromp, or, oh, I guess Gromp sounds... If, if, if Gromp was down, okay, go to Raptors instead. Basically, if your Gromp was up here, you'd still invade her, because you know you have faster clear to clearing all game, and she's just uh, winning the map, whatever. Doesn't really yeah. do anything, honestly. So, I'd go uh, Raptors and Krugs here, and save an angle top lane. I hold Smite here to level 1. You should know the level 1, why? 1,000 HP. Left-click the cam, just to be sure. Oops. What is this guy doing? Drop a deep pink cord on the uh, right sure. side. Yep. Yeah, there you go. I should even look for a dive top, right? Yeah, it's the only problem is like if he's next to tower, he's on ISO, so you do a lot less damage. Also, she, she's only going to come here because her top side's entirely up, so if you're tracking, she's going to be here. Just be careful. Play slow. Yep. Just auto QW. Don't, don't waste your E. Just keep autoing. You're chilling. You're chilling. Just ease your E when you have to like lethal or just run away. So you always hold on to your E. Very useful. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. It's like a last resort. My flick plans, like there you exactly. That's how you play. Yep. When I when I play Cosmix, I usually should I reset for drag Cosmics. right now. Yeah. The way I play Cosmix, no, I should do Krog's red six dragon. Yeah. The way you play Cosmix and once you're six is you always R get on top of them auto Q and. Okay, well I have w, a question. Whatever. I have a question. Sejuani so is like held Just top red. red. Leave, bro. You need, you can leave with zero HP. Your champion has no mana. Your no, 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 no. It was for futures market. Evis, there you go. You're actually better than most of the colleagues I've, I've coached in like Diamond Masters already, so in your first game. Probably because I'm here, but. Yeah, I mean, it's also because I have a bit of experience on the champ. Like, not a lot, but. Which I yeah. evolve. RQ, RQ, always Q. People say R is better. I, I've always had higher win rate on uh, this setup, so. Wait, wait, I just evolved happening. Alt. That's what you told me to do, right? No, I said Q. You said RQ! I said always Q. Bro, I swear to God, I heard RQ. Okay, okay, skip dragon, go top slide. Right. Play for rift instead, because I think uh, Sedge is going to... Or, or her blue. I mean, it's one or the other, right? See an angle mid lane or look to... Uh... You don't have distance on that. You don't have distance. You don't? You don't have... No. Okay, so what should I do? You were saying? Sedge is on blue. I don't know. You want to do rift? You want to play for yeah, dragon? Yeah, I'll play for rift here. I have always done Q Evolve, and I've always had the highest winning challenge right now doing Q Evolve. Okay, so okay, from now on, I'll do Q Evolve then. So is it Q into R then? UW, I never go R. I was playing against Rengar, and I, uh, I mean, remember when I played against your bitch ass, Kha'Zix Rengar, and I killed you, and we won the game on fourth evolve? Yeah, I went R for the fourth one, because I have no choice. <laughs> R is dog shit, bro. Okay. If you know how to space and position, then you don't even need R. Extra okay. stealth duration? Okay, then play the game better. R gives you better clear speed, better DPS, better skirmish, better neutral taking, everything. Yep. So wait, should I go for a top side mid on Sedge and since you just like drag? Or should I, mean, I just, like, can... play for my crew? Yeah, 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 always go right here, 100%. Okay. So, sorry, I've been up, like, 24 hours, so I have, like, a little nap, but... Hey, you definitely in here. Use your W to pull the camps, always. There you go. I wish I had Q beating this camps a lot faster, but... 
Your top shit, infinite plates, top lane. You can actually camp the the Renekton here, like coming back to lane. Yeah, so do you think I should just go for the Krugs in Yes, go Krugs, yes, yep. yes. But like their support can rotate, so just be careful. And they're jungler too. Ooh, Malkai's here. Should I back off? I started and pull towards your top. Pull towards the brush up the guess. Yeah. But we haven't oh. panned camera top a single time. I don't know the fuck's like how big is the wave he has. How much time does he have? Okay, yes, he has to get out soon. I mean, this game is perfect. Like, you're so fat, you have Mythic. Like, it's looking really good. W R now? R. Oh, yeah, actually, for this fight, R is good. Why? Because you're stalling and soaking damage. But, uh. Okay. He, he wipes, so it's fine. Go Eclipse here. You can go Dust. Do you here. always go Eclipse? They're full. Bro, look at their fucking team. They're in a stack armor. Yeah, but so what, what would you say the Mythic options are? Eclipse, Yumu's, like, Dustblade? Never you moves. Always, I always go dust play to be honest. But this game is like you know you have to go. You know you have to go. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. But okay. I mean, this game so far so good. I'm thinking just like full clearing oh, up and then reinventing top blue, side. Blue, blue, blue. blue? Okay. Why, why what? Because I was because uh, enemy top sides you spawn like a minute thirty. So I was thinking of going like Krug start clearing to Gromp and then reinvading Krugs here. Okay, just do your do your wolves then if you want to play top side then. Then you do wolves into Grom Blue and then you play top side. Well, then sync is ten times better. Whereas like you're not level nine, bro. You don't full clear until you're level nine as a jungler. Unless there's a better stuff in the map, which you always will be, right? Okay. You're thinking about clearing too much. Gotcha. So they need to look bot lane, bro. What the fuck's happening? Are they, are they low? I know it's your first game, but like, goddamn. <laughs> I've been up the entire night. You should Wait, should I look for down. check raptors? Check raptors. Yep. Saving Wait. like push mid instead. Yeah, but if I shove right. out mid and then I just play for a herald play. Yeah, we I mean, can maybe just rotate the display. They're over committing. You're very fed. You're out of base. Yeah, so our auto Q, our auto WQ or whatever. Or Jesus, yeah. Works out. Just got rotated nothing. Okay. Right, I think should have push mid invaded. No, go, bro, push mid. Their jungler's dead. The raptors are up and the Krugs are spawning. You want to fucking push mid and pressure? I think okay. the raptors are up. You can drop Rift for a cannon in a bit here too as well. Thing is, the air wants to reset the crab is up and terror top sides up. Just ear for the wall, fuck it. Rankin's not there, I doubt it. Oh shit, jungle diff. You're chilling, you have Eclipse. Rankin's behind you. You flashed into him. WQ, WQ, WQ. Double ignite, bro. You got fucking fans, holy shit. <laughs> They're actually fanboying you so hard this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why either. Shit's crazy. So, what would you say the second item options are? Is it like, uh, usually like Cleaver, Edge of Night, stuff like that, or? If you're doing the uh, one shot build and you're all squishy, then I think next pass Prowlers might be better than Edge Second. If you need to, like, you know, dodge a spell or, like, be able to jump in, yeah. then that Edge of Night might be better. If they have, like, a Varus or whatever, go do your Krugs first. Always Krugs first. So, I mean, honestly, you play this game really well. You got the neutrals, you frontline for your team. If, if you didn't get a fanboy, you have infinite kills, but it's the other way around. They fanboy you and Darius got all the kills, so. Yep. This is how he went on Kha'Zix, you soak damage, and he's a lot tanker than people think he is. Like, you have your W, you have your Eclipse Shield, you have your HP runes. If you go, like, Edge and, like, Black Foot, you have a lot of HP as well, so he's pretty tanky champ. Surprisingly. As long as you soak damage, once you're level 11, you're fucking god mode. I mean, you have to fucking run the ball this game, you're clearing so slow. You yeah. can go bottom after this, skip your rafters if there's an angle, if not, then. You're, you guys are outnumbered for this fight, though, just, like, maybe play so. Remember, our auto W, or our... Auto WQ, whichever you want. I look on Vayne here. Well, you just... Bro, you didn't even do what I just said. I just said R Auto W, don't E in. You're you're losing your E to run away or chase them, dumbass. I just told you 10 times what the combo is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Can you, you never repeat? E in. Okay, R, so you never E in. You press R and walk at the enemy team. Okay, okay, gotcha. And then you determine... Is it good to use auto Q here? Is it good to auto WQ? Is it just good to WQ? It depends on the champion which you're playing. Go Mertrez. You don't fucking E in ever. You never E in. Have you never watched me play Kha'Zix? I mean, I guess I never picked up on it. So you never use E ever, is what you're saying. Unless like, you have lethal or you have to run away. I gotcha. You always have your ult, R, or flash. I would rather flash an E. Because okay. E is more range than your, your flash. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I can this dragon, to be honest. But yeah, wait, go bot, go bot, go bot, man! He's pressuring the tower and the thing's running at him, you're fucking looking top! Jeez, sweep and enter their jungle. Holy shit, that's like I'm... 
It's like you didn't even learn anything. What is Coach Seal teaching you? What is JMO teaching you? <laughs> If humans are pressuring you, you're going to fucking farm your raptors. Like, enter their fucking jungle, man. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm right. When have I been wrong? Like, honestly. I mean, there were a few times you were wrong, and then... That Diana play where I execute was the right play. They already lost the <laughs> mid and bot lane. It will always be the right play in my book. So okay, that's how okay, I okay. Again. I mean, this game had the wrong evolve, so like, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. You're two camps off, or two stacks off. You can enter his top side here, maybe hit mid. W the wave? Ooh. This is kind of bad, actually. They're all coming, just leave. Uh, he may have jumped into Renekton, buddy. I don't know if you, why he ran that way, but, uh... Dodge the E. Okay, that was actually really well played. Almost. No, you, you had the right idea to stall for you either. Yeah, but, uh, because the, I knew if I walked wrong, here, yeah. The thing is, you really ran into Renekton. I just clear my topside camps if there's nothing happening. This game looks fucking one. I think Kyle's so fucking OP. Like, Bro. W the Gromp, it's not rocket science. <laughs> Use your Q to last hit and W the camp you want to wa wa have walk towards you. Yeah, but is it not better to like E onto the camp that you want to go to? No, because then you can use your E on your wolves and get there faster. I always E out of base. I E around my jungle, too. Okay. You should always smite the non-isolated camps, too. Like, this camp would have been a good smite, or, like, raptors, or at this point, you just one-shot them, right? So, never smite your non-iso, sorry, your iso camps. Mm -hmm. Should I just grab this ball wave? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'll be Krugs first, but it's fine. I, I think Darius going there anyways. Should I just end the reset right after? Oh, uh, if you have Cleaver, yeah, which you do, so I would. Actually, I push one more wave here, because no one's bottom. Go W. Well, I mean, you should have gone fucking Q, I mean, at this point, you already fucked up your evolution. It's typically just QW, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Is what I do. If you're not in a position that you don't need RE early, like, you rather have a DPS, extra damage. Just reset after this and play for your red abyss. Grab red and then try to play for crab. They're resetting right now. You have items. Like, you should just enter. Wait, should I just go crab right away? Yeah, you can. I mean, I don't think they're going to be on it, but I would grab red first because it's weird to walk back and forth, but sure. Yeah. Is mid tower low or bot tower, I mean? Look at Maokai. Is Maokai dead? Wait, should I just go for a kill on the ball? Yeah, even, even like chunking her is very good. She's very useless this game, though. Okay. I'm going to do oh. the thing you taught me. Yeah. You didn't auto. You have to auto for the slow. You know what your passive does? Oh, you haven't got it. They've taken everything from me this game. It sucks. Wait. Oh, my auto slows? Yes, that's why you always auto Q, not Q auto. Unless you have a lethal or they're oh, face checking you. Okay, okay. Because once you hit the slow, then it's easier to stay on top of them. So yeah, exactly. But if you Q auto, the auto then, then they can guaranteed. get away. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. that's like one of the most basic Kha'Zix tips. That, like, not many people do, surprisingly enough. I don't know why. How is he GM? <laughs> Guys, he's good at Hecker. He's learning. This will be his second best champion career, I think. I think it fits his style. And he doesn't really have a second carry. Like, Velvet, Dana, I feel like they're a lot more team reliant than Kha'Zix is. Mm -hmm. Whereas Kha'Zix can just secure a full clear and teammates are feeding, like, he can still take over the game. What the fuck is this guy do? <laughs> there you go, you autoed him, great. Go for mid and nip. where are you going? Bro, go mid! You, like, they have to come to you, not going to them, look at top lane. Yeah, because the red just respawned, so I was saying about invading the red there. I mean, I feel like mid lane's on time right now, because... How are you autoing from so far? Without... Isn't it Q of all that gives you auto attack? No, it gives you Q range. <laughs> I think it's auto attack range, too. They're on in a mouth champ, to be honest. Alright, go to red now, if you want. Should I do red, or should I go for this play? Whichever you think is better. When I say go red, I mean like there's either play one or two, right? Yep. I don't say go red and start red. I'm saying like go to red and see which one to do next. Bro, this champ is broken. What the fuck? Got zero kills. Wait, zero far left in. Okay, nice. Nice guy's pissed. Chase, Chase, play slow, play slow. 
If that W evolve and Q evolve, you'd be stalling for your team right now, but yeah, you got shit. Man, your cannon's ending the game. See, like, that is a good E. Why? Lethal. He's eyes, though. He's far from his team. Perfect E. You win this. See, like, Q autoing there is different because you have teammates following up with you. Yeah, team exactly. Like, you're sending yourself up, then, and it's pre level 11, that's a bit harder. To stay on top because you have no actual CC minus your red uh, smite and is third item Serolda's? Yeah, probably Serolda's is good here. If you're against like a lot of tanks, that's where Kha'Zix is weak. Like shit's like shit like Sion, Cho'Gath, you might have to get like an LDR sometimes because there's not really any other item you can buy and call. It should just be Baron, no? Or reset, I guess, is fine too. I mean, honestly, this is a really good first game. I'll be honest. Like, yeah, wrong evolution. You got your full clear. You didn't bait yourself out of your full clear. You literally only a level three gank if it's a guaranteed kill. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed, like guaranteed, like no questions asked. The guy's like fucking not paying attention to you existing. No wards on you. Or B, after your full clear is an angle. My my angles on Kha'Zix full clear reset play for a Krugs at four hundred five or, or or Gromp whatever whatever your second rotation camp is spawning first. Yep. And that's how I always get the dragons first, because I'm not fucking tempo dropping myself off the fucking 330 useless crab. And as once you learn your combos and how to like space and position properly with the right of evolutions, and you'll learn how like OP this champ is. Mm -hmm. They nerfed him by 3 AD. Like that's just honestly useless. His issue is just tanks, and this game had a lot of tanks, and he still like got pretty fed. I need to use their R a lot more, like R and reposition. R and have them guess, have them sweep, have them do whatever the fuck. Like, I don't even think you did, like, concerning, like, considering how little gold you got this skin from kills, like, I think you did decent damage. Because your teammates got fed off you, so I mean, I understand if you did, like, probably less than your entire team, but. Yeah. Because, like, the thing is, it was when the enemy, like, fanboyed me out, like, my blue and shit and stuff like that, right? Oh, they literally chose you every fight, and Darius and Kenny just killed that whole enemy <laughs> team. It's, 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 it's why I fucking hate streaming. They're just the biggest fucking loser fanboys ever. <laughs> You're so disgusting. Honest, like, you did the same as Darius, considering how little gold you got. I mean, that's pretty good. Check damage taken, though. I think your damage taken was the highest on your team. Maybe you and Darius, but. Yep. Like, see? It's the fucking fanboy, most in the game. <laughs> that's why I call so good, because he's a lot tankier than people think he is. Yeah. Anyways. So, I mean, the key things to note from that game, typically yep. you go two points Q full clear if you can't get invaded. You don't go pod if you know you can't get invaded. Mm -hmm. Don't bait yourself into an early game unless it's like a guaranteed kill. Yep. You you could in some games like go W start Raptors Red Krugs and look for a side lane gank. And if there's nothing, just go a long sword and then play for top side and, or cross map and then crap path back to your Raptors. But besides that, I mean, that was honestly, I'm really surprised for your first game. That was pretty good. Yeah. Like, easily at least Masters level for your first game. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some water, bro. I'm stuttering. Alright, I got you. Like, his state is decent, right? Master plus 50.1. But the thing that you have to get is that the reason why is because look at his counters. Where he says, counters. Check this out. Best picks versus Kha'Zix. Rengar, getting nerfed. Rek'Sai, getting nerfed. Um, Rel, slight nerfs, right? Nidalee's getting untouched, whatever. Kindred getting nerfed, right? Bro, so it's like Rel isn't Rel isn't a real counter because like you can just full clear for free and just scale and get dragons if she kills your teammates. Other yeah. things like you have to, you have to ban Nidalee in Korea by the way. It counters your entire pool and they fucking permanent invade. Get I promise you, ban Nidalee every game. Okay, Do even even favor. over Kaisa. My <gasps> two bans in Korea have always been Lee and Nidalee. Wait, she has a fifty percent ban. <laughs> Yes, it's never, bro. Like, you don't understand. When you pick Nidalee Wait, and your entire team picks around you and plays around you. Dude, look. NA, it has yeah. a 2%... <laughs> <laughs> How is that even possible? Open on your stream, bro. Open Canyon versus Peanut Nidalee. Okay. And watch the VOD. That's what's going to happen to you since minute one. And you're going to fucking probably smash your monitor. Because <laughs> I don't think there's a this counterplay one? to this. He did my path. He did red into invade Gromp, right? And, yeah. And then Canyon's smart. He knows he has no smites, so he like baits him to walk up. I don't even know why Peanut walked up. He like remember back then like Ember Knife showed how many smites you have up, right? Yeah. So he knew he had no smites. So he just baited him extra auto, and then he literally, bro. If he didn't see this shit, this should be fucking. 
This should be a banger for you. This is gonna happen to you. Just be careful. No way he invades. <laughs> yes. That's what happens after this, little bro. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I've auto reviewed this, by the way. Uh, Jace misplayed. He should have warded bot side. Or was it top side? No, Jace should have warded top side. Right? I remember bot reviewing this. Jace had a ward up, but then he warded late, and there's like no camps bottom, it's just Krogs. Oh my. <laughs> he's in smite because he knows and then he's he gets push him out. Oh my. I mean, look how smart Ken is for not smiting, by the way, because he knows Renekton's zoning him off Krogs, so he doesn't have to smite and be there earlier. So yeah. he has to smite too. And then he goes again, bro. He goes again. He has eight CS. <laughs> Cannon troll throwing a Q there. Because they would have killed him a lot better. Oh he my lives. god. I mean, you literally, you, you literally just can't play the game on Sacrum. Yeah. Yeah. Because, no, yeah, I'll just ban that shit every game. Because I feel like Kindred can do the same thing, but since she's getting nerf next patch, it'll be, like, a lot better.